Hey everyone, I just wanted to quickly show you some uh, vintage um, Christmas postcards that I have that I will be listing in my Etsy shop this week. Um, hopefully today, I have a grandchild over, so who knows if I can get to it, but I wanted to quickly show you some. So here's this, make this a quick video, kind of give you an idea. I think each listing will have two vintage postcards. That one's really cute. This one here, I'm not sure the date. This one is 1910. Just another one. Here are the pitter patter feet. I'm not sure. Um, I have a grandson over. His name's Parker. He's only two, so if you hear my name, Nana. This one here is really cute because it has like, a, oh, like a felty feeling. Rays. This one here is embossed. Is a new word I'm learning. Same thing with this one is also embossed. This one here is the vintage stamp as well. This is 1910. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. That's Parker. I'm going to hear my name here in a minute. Same here. If you get closer, you can see the little children out there. This one here is 1923. This one says Merry Christmas, 1906. This one is in German. It's upside down. I apologize. I really got to flip the whole cards around. Same here, German. This one here is 1960. Another German card. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. This one's blank. This is another German one. And this one is... Sorry, I'm getting you guys dizzy. From the Netherlands. I don't have a date. This one here says, everybody at our house wishes everybody at your house Christmas and a prosperous new year. This one is 1914. This one's lovely. Again, it's like raised. And this one is... Now welcome Christmas, come to a new with all the stores of treasure. May gladness make dwelling place with you and peace and endless pleasure. And while the golden moments swiftly guide, may every joy of happiness besides all good wishes and a Merry Christmas. And it's 1910. Oops, sorry. Look gorgeous. Uh, a good German card again. This one is 1930. This is definitely Russia. This one's got a plastic cover on it. And then this one here, another German one, but that's gorgeous. And this one is, oh geez, I, I'm not sure, but look at the writing on the back of that one. This one is really cute. These are all vintage for sure. Um, this one has nothing on the back. I like the back of it though. This one here is another German one. 
this one's 1961. Looks like someone tried taking a stamp off on that one. What's this one? Um, again, this is like 1800s again. It says good. Oh, it's German again. <laughs> I am German, but I can't read nor speak it. This one's blank on the back. To wish you a Merry Christmas with every good wish. This one here has got a classic cover on it right now. This one is very old also with no writing on back. This one's very retro. Hearty good wishes for a very Merry Christmas. 1916. This one's gorgeous. It's in plastic sleep also. Christmas wishes. Once more, I send a good old greeting that yearly compass, press, compasses the earth. And may your Christmas hour while fleeting to many lasting joys of birth. It's got a plastic cover on it. It's got like a vintage like glitter and details. This one's blank. This one's also embossed as well with gold accents. It says, Happy New Year. I'm wishing you a day as my New Year greetings, health, wealth, and prosperity. Oh, this is cute. It says, uh, oh, another language. I am not sure. I think that is German, but look at the, the details of that one. Very cute. If anyone knows what it says, let me know. This one here is 19 something. Um, this one here is 1960. This one's gorgeous. And it's blank and no date because there's nothing on the back. It's covered in plastic. If you see any here that you like before I list it, let me know. I'm doing two cards per listing. I'm not sure, depending on what it's going to be. I'm not sure of what the prices are yet. Um, I guess it depends on the cards that are grouped together. All right, a peaceful new year. This looks more like a Hanukkah kind blank on the back as well. They're, like I said, they're all vintage. This one's gorgeous. Definitely looks old. 1906. Some plastic. Hope the glare is not too much. This is really cute. There's nothing on the back of this one. Okay, and then this one here, nothing on the back of this one. It's got the cute edges. Alrighty. It's a really thick one. Okay, oh, this is one of my favorites with all good wishes for Merry Christmas. It's like I got gold accents. I don't know if you could see it. It's blank on the back. This one's really cute too. It's in German and it's really retro and it's blank on the back. Oh, another favorite. I can't say which one's my favorite. Okay, this is like black, white, and red details. It's also in German with a, I have a clear plastic. Look at that. It's so cute. Um, this one is 1911. But the handwriting and the stamp on back is gorgeous. So the cursive writing. This one also has gold accents. I don't know if you can see that. Another retro, a Merry Christmas, Merry Xmas. We're going to stay up and see Santa, it says. That's cute. This one's in German again. It's blank on back. Hope I didn't do that one way too fast. I'll go back. This one's beautiful again. It's got some music um, in the front. 
says Christmas awake, salute a happy morn where a savior is making a born. A peaceful Christmas to you. And it says 1710 to 1768. No stamp on the back, but there's writing. This is cute too. A happy new year. Oh, I just don't know the date. It's got some numbers, and a lot of them are made from different countries, too. A New Year's greeting, which is very retro. This one's really retro, and it's got beautiful gold accents, and it's blank in the back. Another one with gold accents. I've got one more after this. This is 1911. Like I said, um, these are, I'm putting them um, not in junk journals. These here, I'm going to list two postcards at a time. This one is 1914. Um, on per listing, like I'll say I have two, two together, one's upside down. Uh, two postcards per listing or four postcards per listing. And just one set price. I don't know if it's like $10 for two or if it's going to be more. It depends on the card in the year and the condition. Um, but they're absolutely gorgeous. And um, I'm going to be listing those tonight. Um, like I said, if you see any that you like, let me know. And I will be glad to hold them for you um, or put them in a junk journal kit for you. Just let me know. Um, but this is just some of the Christmas cards that I have. It's the first handful. Like I said, I have, I have boxes of things and I just go through them. Um, but these are beautiful. Not only the blank ones that you can send out um, for your own personal use, like for a friend or um, for junk journals. Um, thank you for watching and hopefully you'll like uh, to get some postcards. Have a great um, after Thanksgiving and family. You guys have a blessed evening. Bye.